we have three ranges here showing us sales by different channels there's online direct marketing and retail we want to combine all of this into a single report and display in a form of a chart to do that we make use of the pivot tables and pivot charts for us to do the report the data does not necessarily have to be on one sheet it could be on multiple tabs like this or it could be on different excel sheets altogether for our example we will just put it on one to make it easier for us to display to create a pivot chart we would generally go into insert and choose a pivot chart from here but that option works only with one range when we have multiple ranges we need to use a keyboard shortcut for that so press alt and d followed by p this opens up the pivot chart and pivot table wizard under where is the data you want to analyze select multiple consolidation ranges under what kind of report you want to create select pivot chart this will produce a pivot chart and a table let's click next under how many page fields do you want we select I will create the page fields and click next again now we select the different ranges that forms the source of our information so let's select the first one and click add then we select the second one and we click add again I could select the third one from here or I could go to another sheet or another tab so let's say for retail sales we want to go to another tab and I select it from here and I click add again let's go back to the original sheet now you can see we have three ranges here for each range we now go and say how many page fields do you want we select that to one and we set a name for field one so for the first one we call it retail for the second one we call it online and the third one we call it direct let's click next here it's asking if we want to produce the chart in the same tab or in a different one I go select new worksheet so it will be created in a new worksheet and we click finish as you can see a pivot table and a pivot chart has been created this now shows us a consolidated information of all our three sources for example here under online sales we had product 1 2 and 3 under direct marketing we had product 1 4 and 3 if we go to the final report we can see it shows us all the products together with the total sales what it has done is created a filter for us on the top with the names that we placed in the last stage so if I want to see the sales only for direct marketing I click direct and it will show me numbers just for that if I want to see direct and online I can say select multiple items and I could choose two of those and as you can see those numbers changes as a number changes in the pivot table the pivot chart also changes accordingly we can use the pivot table option to get different views of the charts so I could move this page one option under the rows axis so now you can see for each type I'm able to see as to how what the sales for each product was I could also take the row and move it into the columns or remove the column out of here and what I can see now is for each product how much sales has been taking place 
for the different channels that we have as you can see it shows us only two channels which is direct and online that's because we had filtered on those two to change it back I move this back to the report filter I select all items now the, all the data is there I can drag it back under the row labels so you can see for direct online and retail I can see for each product how much sales has taken place over the full period for more tips and examples of how Excel can work better for you go to my website www.lifeautomated.co.za